welcome to Florian Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Wednesday the 19th of August 2015 and today I've started on Tamiya's 112 scale Ducati uh, 1199 bike. I have to say absolutely loving it. We're using the AK uh, Metalizer paints. We found a few things which you're going to see in here like my uh, Dural aluminium or Dala aluminium and my new aluminium are completely different colours which is a little bit odd, I don't know if you can see that but it's a bit weird but funny enough the wrong colour or the dodgy one shall we say uh, is what's given me that amazing colour that I was after for doing some of the engine work. It has that sort of gold tint to the aluminium uh, and that's what this one's got whereas the other one doesn't so who knows which one's right but definitely it's well worth having both. The kit, as you can imagine, it's Tamiya, it's falling together, it's beautiful to work with, beautifully engineered and goes together an absolute dream. So far, I've just done the engine work, so we've been using, say, a lot of metalizer colors, things like that. So we've got the radiator system grill done here, we've got the actual, the fuel tank, uh, the rear and everything else like that. So we're actually gonna start to bolt it all together. The engine exhaust system is literally still wet, just waiting for that to dry. And then what I can do after this is uh, bolt it all together, which is quite nice, because you do get, with these kits, a very nice bag of screws and tools and various things like that. We've also, with this particular build, using the upgrade set here. So we've got the actual uh, front fork set, which is fantastically detailed and turned metal bits and pieces, which is something is very hard to sort of recreate down here. Uh, in plastic so it's great that we've got those but using the AK paints they're working absolute treat and working along so not going to take too long on this one I think we'll have this one cracked in a week but we're definitely focusing on a pristine mirror finish so no weathering on this one everything's got to be perfect all the metal finishes have got to be perfect and obviously all this body work's going to be perfect and that's why we're using automotive paint on this one as well so it's two pack paint system for the actual uh, main fairing and the bits and pieces on it like that so it's a lot of fun and pushing through very nicely uh, finishing up today is obviously the Typhoon, which is behind me somewhere, uh, for the actual RAF GR4 version. The final part is up today. Uh, you're gonna see the final reel of the photos at the end of the show. So if you wanna see that one, it's only about an 18 minute uh, for the final part of it, but it brings it all together. We look at the lighting system working uh, and obviously how the battery system is installed into it and the pack and everything else like that. Again, a fantastic build, really enjoyed it. It's been a nine parter. Uh, and everything else like that. I'm currently still waiting on the base to show up for, wherever it is, it's over there now, for the other Typhoon. This is for the Hawker Typhoon. As soon as that one's in, we're gonna then push on with that one and make our way through. But highlight for today, I don't normally do these, but this has showed up and it is still sealed, not opened. Um, so I do have to thank Matt for getting me this one because to be honest, I did have this on order with Hobby Link Japan. Now the reason I go through Hobby Link Japan and things like that is that normally, how's he done this? Oh right, he's off the front, that's why we're not getting the, the thing open. Uh, normally is that I tend to get the kits a little bit earlier than they're out in the UK or Europe and things like that. So that isn't the reason why I go there. By the time you put the price on and the shipping and everything else like that, and obviously you've been clobbered by customs, there's not much in it. So in this, big old box we have and it's upside down oh, uh -oh. Ta -da! this is Tamiya's brand new Mosquito 132nd I know we've spoken about it a lot we spoke a lot about it on uh, last night's live show as well and it's finally here so guess what I'll be reviewing tomorrow loads of you asked in the live show last night am I going to build it yes I am probably going to do it in different markings I'm not a fan of these markings I want to do it in invasion stripes as well me and Steve were actually mentioning after the show had ended when we were chatting that if you're gonna do it, it has to be done in invasion markings because they look absolutely stunning. But this is the brand new tooled Mosquito. It's available in the UK, it's out everywhere now, uh, apart from Japan apparently, because they haven't got the export versions. But as you can see, looking around it, it is an absolute stunner. And I have to say, this absolutely weighs a ton and there's no movement in this box. I'm not gonna open it up because we're gonna save that for a review and everything tomorrow. So if you wanna see that on tomorrow's uh, show, obviously the full review of this beautiful kit will be up there. It's gonna be a big review as well. So uh, stand by for that one. It could be sort of, you know, around about 40 minutes long, I reckon, 45 minutes long. It comes with a detailed engine on this one, detailed cop. It. Uh, and talking to the guys who have already built this one as well, they're saying that really you don't need anything aftermarket, it is pretty well covered. Decals are the only thing that's really letting this one down. But needless to say, you can see all about that on tomorrow's show. 
Uh, tomorrow as well we're going to be looking at these paints I'm going to be clearing this away to be honest and tomorrow we're going to have a look at the new Vallejo paint range which I must admit I've done a little bit of testing with it already does stick up really well admittedly I don't think you get a metal finish like you're going to get on this type of thing but for generally if you want to go down the acrylic route they are going to be the paint of choice I can imagine but tomorrow we're going to put it on a full-on test going to use all the colors we're going to try and priming them non-priming we're going to try and obviously flood them how easy they are to use and then obviously we're going to give them masks technique see how that works and if I have got time I might even try and decal over it as well just to see what we get and how it stacks up against other new ones like this new AK stuff that have come through so that's about it for today um, what I'm going to do is going to leave you with the actual final little discussion and the final reveal for the Rebel 132nd Typhoon which I've done as a GR4 standard in flight so until tomorrow everybody happy modeling and take care and those pictures that are showing in the air I think really do it justice this is where this aircraft belongs it's a great looking aircraft gear up and it's one of those things some aircraft look better geared down sat on the ground you can do things with but sometimes I must admit I do like to do them gear up and display them in flight it's a bit like birds they look far better in the air than they actually do sat on the ground I'm a great believer it with aircraft as well and it's nice to be able to display them okay it's not the cheapest in theory because these acrylic rosts both of them cost me around about 25 quid combined with shipping so it's an expensive lump to have these on there is cheaper options you can do hollow rods and things like that and I'm sure if you wanted to you could do them on brass and mount them up like that but acrylic at this dimension is extremely expensive but just be aware of that if you're thinking about going out and factoring it into the cost because obviously the kit itself it's almost the same price as the kit so not so good rebel again it's one of those things you get what you pay for in life but Revel tend to sort of you know jut that a little bit because it's a cheap kit you can get this thing on sale for around about 25 quid it's a tremendous amount of plastic for 25 quid the level of detail is all here it is all recessed it is as it is it's composite material so you're not covered in riveting and all those things you'd expect on a model because it doesn't have them so it doesn't need it okay the weapons fit is a little bit clunky it's a shame that they don't actually offer it as a GR4 we've done it up to GR4 standard now uh, and all the rest of it but generally Generally, you know with the help of a few extras from the spares box and things like that we've managed to turn it around putting the pilot figure in it I think really makes it if you're gonna do it in flight you need somebody to fly it and all the rest of it so we've done it with this one I've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have join me again next time